and then they'll try to put you down, steal your style, and try to put themselves up on a pedestal. I know the devil to be a liar because it ain't but one you and it ain't but one me. And can't nobody rock it like we rock it as it pertains to representing ourselves. Can I get a witness out there? So hopefully that helps somebody out there. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? It's like this. Just let people just keep on making fools out of themselves. Ignore them and go on with your life. Go on with your life. My sisters out there, if you want to open a business, um, you may not have the finances right now. Hold on to your dreams. Hold on to your plans. Make your plans, lay it out, go talk to Father, and let him walk it out for you. Or or he will allow you to walk it out, rather. Well, he can walk it out, too, because, you know, uh, two cannot walk together except they be agreed. And if you fall into agreement with Father, there's no better person to walk hand in hand with. Can I talk about it? See, when you walk, you're not walking alone. That's why you need to walk on you. Oh, my gosh. I don't care what you're facing in life. God is with you. Your victory is predestined. You already shot down your enemies in the spirit realm. They already on the ground. That's why every time they in your face, they trying to get up. Keep them down. That means keep your eyes off of them and keep your eyes on the prize, which is Jesus Christ. You already have the victory. You looking for the victory? You already have it. If you're under the sound of my voice, you already have it. God don't have to get ready to do nothing. God can speak a word and it is so. Let there be light and there was light. Let there be victory. I say, he could say, and there is victory. Well, he said, I know the thoughts. So God's very thoughts can give you the victory. And my gosh, my gosh, who am I talking to? God can think a thing, and it is so. That's why we have to be careful about what we think, because as a man thinketh, so is he. Who am I talking to? As a man thinketh, so is he. Whatever you think, it's whatever you think. God didn't say, but well, whatever your enemies say about you, it is so. No, it, there's nowhere in the Holy Scriptures. There's nowhere in the Holy Scriptures, nowhere in the Holy Bible where God said, whatever your enemies think, it is so. Whatever they speak, it is so. No, God didn't say that. The devil said that. God said it is what you think. That's why you have to mind the spirit of your mind. That's why you have to feed your mind and your ears with positive things. So you have to protect your eye gate. You have to protect your ear gate. You have to protect everything about yourself. If there are those of you out there, you ladies, if you're battling sweat, don't listen to them. Don't look at them. You fellas out there, if you're battling trashy dudes, don't look at them. Don't listen to them. They're haters. You got to guard, you got to guard your eye gate, guard your ear gate. Don't you know people talk because they want you to listen? Turn them a deaf ear. They can keep talking, but let them be the fool. It takes a dumb person to talk to a brick wall. And I don't care who it is, nobody likes to be ignored. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm the queen of ignoring you. Because if you don't matter, <laughs> I don't have no reason to acknowledge you. Now that's just who I am. I'm, not I'm not talking about you guys. But I'm talking about my enemies. No, I ain't got no reason to, to deal. No, no reason at all. And that's why I, I don't play with my enemies in war. Or, or, at all, really. I don't even have to add war to it. I don't. I just don't play with them. Okay? Don't none of us like each other. Ain't none of us got the deal. Stay out of my face. And that's just how it is. I mean, it's just point blank right there. I don't care who don't like it. Because I don't believe in beating around the bush with folks. A lot of people have found themselves in bad situations behind beating around the bush, not saying what it is, not saying what's on their heart, what they need to say. You need to build up the courage to let people know what it is and let people know what it ain't. Oh, my God. Who am I talking to out there? And a lot of people may feel like, oh, well, you're being rude. No, you're not being rude. You're being truthful, bold, and direct how you ought to be. You don't need to be shady. You don't need to be sneaky. You don't need to be deceitful. You don't need to lie. And, I, and I'm not saying that you can't greet an enemy. Of course you can. There's a scripture in the Bible where Jesus spoke about greeting your enemy. Uh, it's something like, I'm not going to quote now. I'm not trying to quote nothing. But it was something about, um, it, 
I don't know what something he was saying as it pertains to your enemies. And he said, you basically, he was saying, if you only acknowledge or something like that, the people that are for you, he said, what reward is it in that or something like that? Like, I, I can't quote it. It's been a while, I guess, since I've seen, looked at the scripture. But basically, Father, I guess he just wants you to treat your enemies like he treated his. Okay? Walk in his footsteps. But there's nowhere written in the Holy Scriptures that you got to be all buddy-buddy with them. Jesus died for his enemies. Everybody out there and you and I. Because we were all enemies to God. And we re Jesus reconciled us back to God and now we're friends. And that Jesus has our back. He serves as like a big brother. Not just the Messiah. Not just the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's so, I want to say much more. God is just a powerful, holy energy of love. And that's what he wants us to be towards our enemies. But just because you may have the love of God to love folks, don't mean you to, uh, he wants you to turn your back to him. He didn't say turn your back to him. He didn't say keep company with them either. As a matter of fact, there's a scripture in the Bible where, where as it pertains to the wicked, God said, come out from among them and be ye separate. Come out from among them. He didn't say be mean to them. No, because God is not mean. He just said separate. But then somebody might say, well, what do you do when uh, they keep coming for you? Just know you got predestined. Good. Know that every battle in your life is won. Claim the victory. Stand as a soldier. Stand as someone victorious. Triumphant. When Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. Now, I just used him as an example because I just started the quote today. What else is there left to conquer when you have destroyed every enemy you ever had? When you have fought every enemy you ever had? So a person like that ain't got no fear. I don't think. If they do, you better get rid of it. Because fear um, counteracts faith. And fear counteracts courage. You got to be of good courage. Remember how Father spoke through the scriptures? Be of good courage. Be of good courage. You believe in God, believe also in me. Be of good courage. I'm not quoting that y'all together. But be of good courage. In other words, Father was saying, fear not. As a matter of fact, that's another term he used. Fear not, it is I. Fear not, it is I. See, when you know who is walking with you, you don't care who is standing against you. You don't care about little underhanded remarks from the mouth of uh, jealous bloodline folks. I can't stand a narcissist. They just make me sick. See, that's the reason why I, you know, I'm, I'm going to go left field a minute. I don't believe in, uh, I believe in reconciliation, yeah, but just certain people, mm-mm. Because let me tell you something about a jealous-hearted person. Um, jealousy don't leave their heart just because they think some time has passed and the war has blown over. Or you basically won the war. Mm-mm. Whatever they were holding in their heart against you, for a lot of you, the bulk of your lives, is still there. If, if Jesus didn't remove it, it's still there. Or if they didn't decide to make a change, which we can't do anything apart from Jesus. No way. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. That's the reason why I'm so against, I, I, I put it like this. I, I'm just, I would just say trust no man. And that pertains to women as well. That's humanity. And by trust, I mean, I'm not saying, see, there's a fine line there. I'm not saying you can't trust somebody as it pertains to, oh, well, hold on to this money for me. Or trust them to take your car to the shop and bring it back. I'm not talking about it like that. What I'm saying is don't put your whole heart into humanity. I mean it in that way. You put your whole heart into God. Because humanity is susceptible to sin. And sin against you, sin against God, and sin against itself. God is not susceptible to sin. God has never sinned. God will never sin. God is not capable of sin. God does not lie. God has never lied. God is not capable of lying.